I, I think that the best example I have is Jim Caldwell was our QB coach back in the day, now head coach of the Lions. And Peyton is maniacal in his approach, and that's been well documented. He loved to see every single tendency written out. Not on a sheet, not on a scouting report, like a beautiful mind, on the whiteboard. I walked in on a Tuesday. Off day, we had to come in on Tuesday. Peyton sure. wanted it all early. So I walk in this room, and I have never seen more numbers in my life. Every single piece, I'm not, I, I, the, the room is probably as big as your studio here, close, in every single space on that whiteboard of every single tendency, not just third downs, which are common, a red zone. I want first down, I want second downs. I want second and seven to 10. I want second and three to five. I want second and 10 plus. I want third in every situation. I want red zone. I want nickel. I want field position. Every piece of that room was filled up. And I thought to myself, wh I, I, why? You can't possibly process all of this. You can't take this in. But you're saying he does. He does. He does. Now, the next week we played the Miami Dolphins, and there was <laughs> there was one tiny little bit because all they played was two trap, quarters trap. That's it. But New England, and that was the game, New England was the one that had zero tendencies. When, and that's why he wanted all of it. He wanted to try to dig and try to find some way, you know, to, to get a little bit of an advantage. And they were by far, I mean, not even close when you looked at every one of those, so you've got Belichick in his mind, his lack of tendencies. I'm going to confuse you. I'm going to disrupt you versus Peyton that wants every single piece of data imaginable because his greatest asset is his mind. How much do you think 